is coming all the way from a magical, mythical land known as Madison, Wisconsin. He's definitely a favorite here. Please put your hands together for the mystical Frondu! Hello. Can I hear me? Ah. I can hear me. Thank you very much for that wonderful freaking applause. Please stop. Stop. I can't take it anymore. This is too much. Oh, good. Look, it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't collapse. And look, the microphone is just about my level. They usually bring it up and put it way up there. But I'm used to climbing walls. I climb up walls, you know, like every day at night. Because my books are up there and I have to climb up to get them. Um, I hope you all guys are having a wonderful time. It's, uh, it's, it's like the few last days we're going to have before winter comes along. You know, winter is fun. Because when winter comes, you know, like right now, when fall begins to be really cold, people can start doing, uh, you know, fires, you know, they do like little fires in their backyards and then they're having fun. And I just walk the streets because I'm a weird guy. <laughs> and I go around and when I see a fire light, I go, wow, there's people over there, innocent people, let's go get them. <laughs> So I go in and I say, hi, hello, and we talk, and you know, I get to know them a little bit, we become friends, it's great to be friends, it's great to make friends with a lot of people, you know, it's great to like, get to know people and really go out and there because you never know who you're going to have to rob. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an old man, I don't have too much time, so therefore, mm, I gotta quickly go and make friends, you know? So I was walking down the street, yeah, in Madison. And here are these two women on a porch. And as I'm walking by the street, they go and they say, hey, hi. And I go, hello, yeah, bro. And I'm running up the stairs, I get onto the porch, and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I say, well, why would you just saying hello? And I told them, well, you say hello to me. They have no idea that when somebody says hello to me, yeah, I'm going to get to know them real quick because I have no time, right? In my, in my life, I need to get to know you fast, right? Because I have very little time. My time is very precious, right? So let's get naked right now. <laughs> if this is too much for you because it's a public place, yeah, let's go to the back. Nobody will see us there. Yeah. It's like when I go to a merchandise store, you know, those pretty, beautiful 22, 21 year olds, you know, they walk up to you and they like give you this wonderful smile and they go, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, yes, you can. And they like, well, well can, can I help you find anything? And I tell them, you can help me find Nirvana. And they go, well, but can I help you find something in the store? I said, oh, are the dressing rooms open? <laughs> Let's go over there. I said, well, why? So because I don't have too much time. I want to get to know you real quick. Let's get naked. <laughs> Doesn't mean to shed your clothes. Just wanted to get to know your secrets. <laughs> so start with a nice, you know, neutral question. How did you lose your virginity? <laughs> if they get too shy about that, then I tell them, you want to know how I lost mine? <laughs> I'm always surprised how I lost my virginity. But here are these two women. And I run up the stairs and I go, okay, start taking my shoes off. Damn, they go, no, wait, wait, what, what, what? So I tell them, and they go, oh. I said, well, you don't have to shed your clothes. Just tell me how you lost your virginity. Get like oh say when well, you got beer and they have beer. This is great. Madison, Madison, woo! Yeah man. I used to drink three beers and then I would like go to the bathroom real groggy and zigzag and now I drink eight. And I'm okay. It's fine, yeah. I'm a Wisconsinite. 
I'm a Madisonian. I'm from that town. I am crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm a little chihuahua. <laughs> That's insane. So I meet a friend going down the street, the street on State Street, right in Madison, and I'm running down. And this huge man, okay, 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 huge man. Everybody's bigger than me. Well, almost. There's some people that are not as tall as me. <laughs> when I see them, I go give them my business. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you what big guys do to me. <laughs> but I am tired and I am mad. You know, all these big guys, you know, they come and they treat me like a little kid. I am not a little kid. I'm not a little kid. Don't treat me like a little kid. You know, I'm not cute. You cannot put me in your pocket. Shit. <laughs> like six foot plus and I'm running because I'm racing this friend of mine who who told me I bet I can beat you to, to, to Paul's Club. Paul's Club is this bar right there on the stage to near the corner and so I'm running man saying hey I'm gonna beat this guy so I count it. He say okay I'll count. He goes okay and I go one two three Paul now I'll take him. So I get an advantage you know boom goes through the green light real quick it's turning and as I'm getting to, to Paul's Club this huge guy goes I saw the foot on his white sneaker and he's looking at me and then as I'm getting close just on the right time boom he takes his foot out and trips me what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> well he didn't know he was tripping me because I rolled off and stood up and I turned around and I told him you fucking guy you just tripped me you know, and he's like, Ugh. and I go up to him, and I put my hands right here, and I push them up, and I call him everything in the book. Mother, you son of a, you know, you ask, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Why you got no brains? And you, you're a fucking dinosaur. That's what he is. You're not more than roaches poop. Son of a gun. So I push him, and he's like, Ugh. I'm a chihuahua. I'm a mad chihuahua. You ever seen those chihuahuas come at you? Holy shit, man! They come at you, and you're like, wow, wow! You you don't want to kick them, you know? It's like it's like it's like those silver fish, you know the silver fish? Brum, they curl up. You can hear them crawling up the wall. You know they're so big sometimes. They're like, and you know it's a freaking weird. You're like, ah, and they're so big you don't want to stamp on them, cause you know it's like, ah, ah, ooh. They might crawl on you at night, but they don't do anything. They don't bite you. You know, it's okay. I'm a little chihuahua. I'm a mad little chihuahua. The guy's going, oh, oh, and I have friends. They back me up. The, 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 the bouncers at Paul's Club, they come out, there's three guys, and say, what's going on from do? What's going on from do? And I didn't have to say anything. The guy is just shrinking. But the two ladies are there, and so I'm talking to them, and they, they warm up to me. Holy crap! My God, I didn't know what I had to do. One is touching my leg, coming up the knee, going up. The other woman is caressing my back. Wow, oh, this is great, great, right? Wow, yeah, they're young. You know, and so I like, I'm, and as I'm talking to them, I go, give me your phone number. And they go, so what? So no. Why not? What are you married? And they go, yeah. Oh, I don't care. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's not like I'm having sex with you yet. It's all right. You know, feel guilty later. Not yet. Not right now. But they don't give me the phone number. I'm like, ah. After all that, that's sexual harassment. It's pure sexual harassment. Really? Because you know, I'm like, oh wow, what is happening to that? They go, no. I went to a gay bar because I can move my hips. Want a drink? If you pay for it, and they do, they pay me for the drinks. Mamita, they call me papi. So, um, eh. What the heck? Met a guy there. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 Actually, I met a bunch of guys, but this guy in particular, and we're talking, blah, blah, blah. We're almost getting naked. It's pretty cool. How did you lose your virginity? And uh, fine, bam, it's done. So I'm at the comedy club, and here he is. Bam, he shows up. And we're taking a picture with some friends, so I go and I say, hey, Robert, take a picture of us. And the guy looks at me kind of seriously and comes over, takes the camera, takes the picture. So, okay, fine, you know, I mean, like, he must be having a bad day, some bad mood or something. Yeah, and yeah, it happens, so I go to the bathroom and I'm peeing at the urinal. Guess who comes into the bathroom? <laughs> the big dude. He comes over and I go, oh, yeah, hi, Robert, yeah. And he comes over and he slaps me on my butt. <laughs> I turn around as I'm peeing and I just like said, what the heck are you doing? You know, let me finish my business here, my fucker, we're gonna have it. You know what I sit there up and I go over to him and I go, no, that wasn't nice. <laughs> and, I, and, and I'm like, and then he goes, well, okay, my name is not Robert. My name is John. 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 What the heck? Robert is better. I mean, John? I mean, I like a John and John, right? Yeah. Wait, okay, John. And I'm like, all right, and he leaves. And I go, oh, I liked it. <laughs> it burned. Because the pain was really good. It left a mark. It made it feel romantic to me. Yeah. Man, and so I, I like stop and I think, wow, it takes a John to make me question myself. That's weird. That's weird. Ooh, ooh. Eh. So this 50-year-old woman that I met, those young women at the at the at the port, they don't give me their they don't give me their, their name or their phone number. You know? Eh. What the heck? Mm. However, I came here to find a woman, right? To find, well, not, not to find a woman really, but, but to find what they told me I would find here. I don't know if I ever told you this, but sex, drugs, and rock and roll. How the heck am I not gonna, I'm not gonna come here? How am I not gonna come here? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Hell, I'm going to the United States, man, boom! And so I come here, Dan, they didn't tell me that. Uh, you gotta pay for that, and it costs a lot of money. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, so I got a job. I got a job, and I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm doing dishwashing. I'm dishwashing, yeah, you know, yeah, but I'm not making enough money to even pay the rent. And all I saw were my bubbles, the bubbles of the sun is going and poof, exploring like my dreams, you know. <laughs> so then somebody told me, go to school, you make money there. I said, well, hell yeah, I did. I went to school. Holy shit, I did make money, it was great, you know, and uh, good benefits, the whole thing, you know. How many colleges have you been to? I've been to more colleges than you have. I've been to five colleges and a lot of classrooms, a lot of classrooms. I started cleaning the toilets and then the hallways. It was great, it was perfect, and it had good benefits. It paid me a little bit more money, damn. I saved myself. So listen, I think I'm going to be leaving right now. But I do want to tell you today, it's, well, for next, for the week from now on, okay? For every week, like Monday morning, or whenever your week starts, please get up in the morning. What do, you, what do you do when you get up in the mornings, right? What do you do, right? You get up, you go up to the mirror, go up to the mirror, right? If you have a full lens mirror, it's better. Go up to the mirror, turn around, bend over, and admire you. <laughs> No one is going to throw shit at you, which is going to stick. Shit that does not stick, does not stink. Yeah. So when, when some little man like that six foot two that tripped me comes and gives shit on you, it's just going to slide right over. And you can tell him, what did you do this morning? Keep it going, Fran Du. I'm guessing you meant big shit also.